For 22 years, Kansas City Film Fest has brought audiences, movies, and filmmakers together to celebrate the power of storytelling. And here to tell us about some of the films that will be featured during the festival this year is film critic Lanita Cook. So many movies, so little time. So many movies, so little time. This yes. festival is such a unique Kansas City experience, and we're real tra trailblazers with this. I agree. It has been around for 22 years, mm -hmm. and they bring some of the best movies from around the world to the festival, and it's a really great time to engage with your local professional film industry. One of the movies I want to ask you about is called Dragtivists. Dragtivists, yes. What's that about? It is a short documentary about uh, students who perform drag, but they also use that identity as a way to engage with culture and community and to uh, champion the rights of all people. And, and it, short documentary, like half hour? Uh, it's much shorter than that. Oh, it's long? less than 10 minutes. Oh, but wow. it, it, it packs a wallop yeah. in just that little time. And one of the, uh, when it's that short, you don't want to give too much away. But yeah. one of the things that I really love about it is that you see the transition from the garb, from yeah. the costume into their regular street clothes, and you really get to see who they are. The people. The people. So the next movie is Tatter Demelian. Tatter, Tatter Demelian, Tatter yes. What's, that sounds like a really interesting, it takes place in the Ozarks. Yes, it takes yeah. place in the Ozarks, and this is one that has a really, like everybody on screen is great. And it's about a soldier who's discharged. Uh -huh. She comes home, and she's kind of living in the woods, and she finds a boy. Oh. And local legend has it that this boy might be a demon. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, wow. Did, so, did you like it? Is it creepy? I, Is it suspenseful? I, What's I, the scoop? I think they did a really great job building that I got to know what's going on. Yeah, feeling. that sounds good. I, I loved it. The next movie we're going to talk about is called In the Gray Place. In mm -hmm. this gray place. Does the whole movie take place in a rest stop bathroom? Yes. Now, there are, some, there are some scenes that are flashbacks so that you can really understand how we got to this point. But the bulk of the movie is really centered in this. And it's very intense. It's, it's about uh, a petty criminal who's in, in trouble. He's made a mistake. And the cops are on his trail. And so you, you, you re your heart is beating for him is he going to get out of this alive what's going to happen but what i love about this movie yeah. is it's as concerned with poetry as it is with plot Ooh. yeah it's beautiful uh, visually it's and stunning. it has to be creative to shoot all that stuff in one main i, I main think place. i think the writing is impressive mm -hmm. the acting is on point i i think this is a really good one now the only if i had to uh, say there was something I didn't like. Mm -hmm. I think it's about 10, 15 minutes too long. Okay. Yeah. Belong to us. Yes. Now, of all the movies I got to see so far, this one is the one that's for the whole family. Mm. It's about um, a family having some issues in their dynamics, and they find a dog who um, was... Um, what do they call it when when you fight dogs? A oh, dog fighting. Yeah, yeah. and so and he been... kind of escaped from that situation, okay. yeah. and then comes into this this family. In the wake of Iyer sounds pretty disturbing. Yes, it's about a, a guy who re reunites with his estranged daughter, but he doesn't tell her. Yes, he's her father, and she falls for him. Yes, and and I will say when I went into this one, I'm like, what kind of premise is that? Yeah. But it was handled very well, and and this one, um, Whitney Morgan Cox. Uh, plays the daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, she puts you in the mind of a young Susan Sarandon, oh. and she's got the acting chops to match. And I really loved this, but it's got a beautiful cast, a lot of local faces that we'll recognize, oh, and everybody's laying it down. Lanita oh, Cook. Yeah. Oh, thank you 